Hey guys, it's iHacks here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can change the app icons on your phone. All credits for this go to Dino Samuels. Now, if you would like to, the first thing you need to do is get Phil's If you haven't, if you don't already have Phil's you're going to need to go to my last video where I showed you how to get it. Once you open the link in the description, it'll bring you to this, and you're going to want to hit slow because otherwise it wants you to pay for some premium thing. Now, after it's downloaded, you wait for the page to load, and then you're going to want to, like the last one, open this in documents. Once you've opened it in documents, you'll get a little, you'll get a zip and you're going to unzip it. This will give you the library folder, which you're going to want to share and copy to fill the geode. Okay, so it didn't work that time because there was an ad. So I'm just going to go back into the app and retry. One more time, share and copy to fill the geode. Okay, now that I have this, you can go inside to the themes and then choose whichever theme you want. In my case, I'm going to do the circle. So I'm going to go to bundles, combat Apple. And now everybody has the spotlight apple.mask and everyone with you, you want to take that. If you have the iPhone X, you're going to want to press the at three times that I just clicked on very briefly. And if you have the iPhone, anything else, like I have the SE, you want to click the at two times. And make sure you choose the iPhone if you have an iPhone or iPad if you have an iPad. Now you want to go to System Library and scroll down until you see Private Frameworks. And then keep scrolling down and you're going to want to look for Mobile Icon. Sorry, if I can find it. Mobile Icons got Framework, there you go. And now you're going to want to paste these two in. But before you do that, you want to go and find the two that you're going to be replacing. So hit the search. So if I hit the pasteboard and I view it, you can see the two things that I have. Now, if I hit search, I can search for them. So I'm going to look for spotlight. Act, and then I'm just going to hit done. And I want to take this and I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to hit more, open in, and copy the documents. This way I can revert back to the original whenever I want. Now, after you've done that, go back into Phil's Jail and search for the other one. In my case, it's the app icon, and then it's the mask, and then mine would be at two. So it's just the one that's right on the top there. So I'm going to hold down on it and press the share. And once I've done that, I'm going to do the same thing where I had before, where I'm going to open in and open in documents. Now I have both of them. You're going to make sure they're both there because this is the only way that you can revert back to the original. Once I've done that, I'm going to hit the pasteboard and hit paste. Now it's safe to do it because I can replace and then when I want to revert, I will be able to. So I'm going to hit apply to all and then replace. Okay, now that I've done that, there's just one last thing to do in order for this change to take effect. You want to go back to the root, go to var, and then scroll down until you see containers. Once you have containers, go on to share, then system group, and then find where it says icons cache, system group sd.icons cache, right there. Now I go to library, caches, com.apple, and then delete everything in here. Now we're going to hit trash. And it might take a second, but once it's all been deleted, we're just going to go home and restart. I'll be right back as soon as my phone restarts. Okay, so now that, as you can see, I've changed all my logos, and I think it looks really good. However, if for some reason you want to put it back, there is a way to do so. All you want to do is open up the Documents app and go to the two apps that you've saved. You can share these back to Filza. If it doesn't work the first time because you get an ad pop-up, simply close and, re and retry the share. See how I got an ad? Okay, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to retry. Now it should work. Let me copy the second file and done. Okay, now I want to rename them so that they're the exact same thing. See how app icon mask says iPhone-2? We just want it to say iPhone. So I'm going to just check that single one and click the rename button at the bottom. Now that I've done that, I'm going to click done and I'm going to copy both here. So you go to edit and you copy them both to pasteboard. 
Now we're going to essentially do the process we did before. So I'm going to open up the root and we're going to go down until we see system, then library. We're just going to keep scrolling down. Remember where we were before? So we're going to go back to private frameworks and then we're going to scroll down to the M section and we're going to look for icons. Here we go. Scrolling up, mobile icons.framework. Now we're going to paste these two back in and we're going to replace. This is going to get rid of the two thing of the spotlight circles that we had before. I actually have more that. Let's just close that. Okay. So now that we've done that, the last step is to go to var and scroll down until you see containers. Once you see containers, you're going to click on it, go to shared, go to system group, and then just scroll down until you see icons cache. Go to library, caches, com.apple, and then delete everything. Once you've done this, you're all good to go. As soon as you restart your device, it should work and you should go be back to normal. I'll see you when I restart my device. As you can see, all my icons are back to normal. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.